The Structure of the Eye by kscience.com. In this video, we're going to describe the structure of the eye and explain what each part of the eye does. Part of the eye that I'm drawing now is the cornea. Do not confuse the cornea and the lens. The cornea sits on the outside of the eye. It is transparent. It is transparent because it needs to allow light through into the eye. It is also curved. It is curved because it needs to refract the light. So bend the light towards the retina, which I'm going to explain in a later video. This part of the eye is called the iris. So this here is the iris. Do not confuse the iris with the pupil. The iris is the colored part of the eye and it contains muscles that contract and relax. So the iris will open and close and it will control the volume of light entering the eye. Connected to the ciliary muscles are the suspensory ligaments. So I'm now drawing the suspensory ligaments. The suspensory ligaments attach the lens. So the suspensory ligaments connect the lens to the ciliary muscles so they can be controlled by the ciliary muscles. This part of the eye is called the lens. This is the lens. And the lens is able to change shape. So therefore it will focus light onto the retina. It will focus light onto the retina. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. These are the ciliary muscles, the ciliary muscles. And because they are muscles, they contract and relax to change the shape of the lens. And these are the suspensory ligaments. The suspensory ligaments, they connect the ciliary muscles to the lens and help control whether or not the lens changes shape. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is the retina, the retina. The retina detects light. The retina contains receptors called rods and cones that detect light. The optic nerve is at the back of the eye and it takes the electrical impulses generated in the receptors to the brain so the brain can process the images that you see. So remember, the optic nerve connects the eye to the brain. And this is your blind spot. On your retina, are rods and cones. These are receptors that detect light, color, and light intensity. I'm now drawing the cones. The cones detect the color of the light. I'm now drawing the rods. These are the rods, and they detect the light intensity. They do not detect black and white light. They do not detect the color of the light. They detect how intense the light is. So remember, rods detect light intensity whereas cones detect the color of the light. The space between the iris, in between the cornea and the lens, is called the pupil. It is through the pupil that light enters the eye. So if too much light is entering the eye, the iris is going to narrow, forcing less light into the eye. And as you can see here, less light can enter the eye if the iris is more narrow. So it widens if there is low intensity of light. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video.
Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.